Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today I wanted to talk about entropy. And specifically, there's a worksheet where we're going to be looking at whether uh, the following reactions show an increase in entropy, a decrease in entropy, or in some cases they may remain the same. So first of all, recall that entropy refers to the randomness of a, sense of a system. So an increase in entropy means an increase in the randomness of a system. So if we look at this first reaction, it's the decomposition of potassium chlorate. So this is the decomposition of a metal chlorate to form the metal chloride and oxygen. And you'll notice that we started with two moles of potassium chlorate and in the solid state, and we end up going from two moles to five moles of product. So right off the bat, that's an increase in randomness. Additionally, I highlighted the states of matter. We went from two moles of a solid to two moles of a solid plus three moles of a gas. So in terms of entropy, this would be definitely an increase. For the second one, we have potassium chloride in its solid state going to potassium chloride in its liquid state. So this would be melting. So in this case as well, we would see that that would be an increase in entropy because we're going from solid to liquid. For the third one, here we have two moles of gaseous dinitrogen pentoxide going to four moles of nitrogen dioxide plus a mole of oxygen. So here, two goes to five. And again, that would be an increase. And note here that even though it's not going from, for instance, liquid to gas, the fact that the number of moles goes from two to five indicates an increase in randomness. The next one, we have two moles of aluminum in the solid state plus three moles of bromine in the solid state going to two moles of aluminum bromide. Now here, th um, sorry, don't mean to stutter. Here we have five moles of reactants going to two moles of product. And this is a combination reaction. So this would represent a decrease in the randomness because you had five things going to two. The next one, we have what appears to be a solution because it's an aqueous. So we have aqueous H plus and aqueous OH minus, aqueous hydronium ion, aqueous hydroxide ion uh, combining to form liquid water. So here we have two things going to one, again, a decrease in randomness, and aqueous going to liquid. So again, this represents a decrease in randomness. For number six, we have two moles of nitrogen monoxide going to one mole of nitrogen and one mole of oxygen. So everything's in the gas phase, so we're going to count the number of moles. Two goes to two. So this would be an example of no change. There's no net change in the entropy in this particular system. Two going to two and they're all in the gas phase. So two moles of gas going to two moles of gas, pretty much no change. And then number seven, we have water in its gas phase going to water in its liquid phase. This would be a condensation. So this would be a phase change, and again, going from disorder to more order. So this would be a decrease in randomness. So I guess what I want to have the takeaway be for this, when you're determining what's going on with entropy, you're going to look at the number of particles, comparing before and after, so reactants to products, and then you're also looking at the number of moles. So you're looking at whether things are going from solid to liquid, or liquid to gas, or gas to liquid, or gas to solid, or solid to aqueous, and you're also looking at the net number of moles. So I hope this helps with the entropy worksheet. This is Miss Augustine signing off.